name is George Pulliam with the Seekonk Lions Club. And this is our first annual Doug Allen fishing tournament for kids in the area. Olivia, what are you using for bait? What's that? Um, trout power bait. Trout power bait? Yes. Have you caught anything yet? No, I've got a few nibbles, but... A few nibbles? <laughs> How long have you been here since? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock? All right, oh, what's, the, what's your hat? Um, well, I just decided to put this sign on it. <laughs> Is it working? Has it brought you any luck yet? Uh, no. I'll give you some of the backstory. We've always wanted to run a fishing tournament, but it's hard to find a place. We, we chose the gristmill because it's really safe here. The bank is open, it's kind of shallow, the kids aren't going to drown, <laughs> and uh, we can keep an eye on it. You caught anything yet? Nothing yet. I'm just out here with my kid today having some fun. Oh, where's your... She's over there somewhere. <laughs> She's running around. <laughs> What's your name? Aiden. Aiden, have you caught anything today? No, not yet. No? Um, what are you using for bait? Um, that like, um, it's like a fish that's a little squishy, it's a little shiny too. Uh-huh. So what kind of fish are you trying to catch? Uh, pretty much any fish. I talked to the owner of the gristmill and he was wonderful. Uh, he, he thought it would be great to have fishing here. He thought it would be great to have skating here in the winter time. Uh, so I said, do you mind if we fish here all the time? And he said, uh, not at all. What's your name? Uh, Dave. Dave Mendonca. What's your name? My name is Jared. Jared? Yep. You caught anything? Nope. No? What are you using for bait? A uh, power bait. Power bait? Yes. Yeah? What are you fishing for? Uh, what are you fishing for? What kind of fish? So I got a letter from him and a letter from the town. Went to Mass Wildlife and talked them into stocking trout here. Yeah, trout. <laughs> I came a week ago Thursday and uh, they put 150 trout, rainbow trout in here, and they put 150 rainbow trout in Burr's Pond down below. And also, where are they catching fish? Right there. Where? Over there in that corner. How many fish? Six. Six? Okay, I have one question. Why aren't you fishing down there? Uh, the school department was really good to us. Uh, uh, we were able to uh, send an email to every kid telling them about the tournament. Uh, but it was in the newspapers and so forth and a lot of... But anyway. The reason that they're catching them is because the current's pushing them that way. So yeah. all the fish are going down that way with... So they're catching them over there. I understand that the, the, uh, the latest count was 88 kids. And... Um, uh, that's more than I expected, way more than I expected. It's just wonderful. It's a wonderful day. What are they using for bait? Maggots. What's your name? Kyle. And how many fish you caught? No. Not any? Now the guys over there are yeah. catching, what are they doing different that you're doing? Not uh, doing? They're using purple power bait or pink, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah. Maybe you should try to buy some from them. Ryan, what are you using for bait today? A worm. Can you show us? How many fish have you caught today? One. One? What kind of fish? A sunfish, I think. A sunfish? How long have you been here? Um, uh, how long have we been here? Uh, some kids are catching trout, some kids are catching some, uh, some panfish and so forth, but they're all having a good time. What's your name? Abby. And have you caught anything yet? No, other than like seaweed. How long have you been here? Um, Dad, how long? The prizes, I think, we got some fisher mods and for the kids for prizes. I don't think that's such a big thing. It's just getting out here in the fresh air and having a good time with a bunch of other kids. It's, it's, that's important. What are you using for bait? Well, right now we're using something that looks like a maggot. Well, we're cooking hot dogs for them now and. Uh, uh, and the kids will always run for a hot dog. Um, what's your name? Uh, Pedro. And Hi, I'm Gary. And how many kids do you guys have here? Oh my gosh. A lot. Uh, a lot. Like nine? All together? Not, 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 not ours. ours. Bass Pro Shops came in with a bunch of these hats and uh, t-shirts and we were able to give the kids, all the kids something, uh, even some frisbees, so the ones that 
registered late. And uh, we and have dad, what? Dad. Yeah, mom and dad. What do we have? Um, I have nine, uh, ten. I have six, seven, eight, nine. We had an email registration, yeah. and there were fifty that pre-registered. So we knew we were going to have a good group. Well, this would be my favorite. It's a, it's a little top war bait. It can be really lively. It looks just like a, this looks like a shad. And how many fish have you caught? One. <laughs> really? How, how much did it weigh? 5.5. Yep, 5.5. Uh, what are you using for bait? Worms. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Okay. We're given a prize for the biggest fish, and we're given a prize for the, the biggest total weight. Uh, in the, the, that's what they do in the in the professional bass tournaments on television, so you gotta do that for the kids. Um, and we, we, we made changes, this is the first time we did it. We gotta sit back and evaluate what, was, what we did right and what we did wrong and have a better one next year. So we heard a rumor you guys are catching all the fish. How many fish you caught? We caught um, five, but we released one of them because it was really small. Yeah? How many have you caught? Zero. I'm with him. We talked to some other Lions Clubs that run these things year after year and they said, you pick a date, and regardless of the weather, have your tournament. Kids will show up in the rain to fish. And you won't get as many, but he said, uh, he said that their parents will stay in the car. <laughs> So you're gonna try for something else? Uh, sure. Yeah. Reel, reel it in and we'll uh, try something different. What's your secret? Dumont specialty. What's that? Right here. This is more of a success than I could have hoped for and I will certainly do it next year. Bye.